and breaking down barriers. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris is now the first woman and the first person of color to be elected to the nation's second highest office. That victory is inspiring women around the world, but as NBC4's Kim Baldonado explains, it's also a particularly proud moment for her sorority sisters here. While I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. The significance of that moment was deeply felt by many women, especially women of color. Someone who I actually see myself in got rose to this position uh, was amazing. So I was tearful. Shelby Bogney is the Far Western Regional Director of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, Inc., the same sorority Vice President-elect Kamala Harris belongs to. Kamala Harris is my classmate. We graduated from Howard in 1986 together. The first black sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha, was founded at Howard University in 1908. Black women in general were not even allowed to vote, not even allowed to participate in women's right to fight to vote. And now a black woman is the first woman in America to hold this high office. I mean, it just does, it, it gives me chills. Not only are these three women proud their sorority sister is vice president-elect, but also that she graduated from one of the historically black colleges and universities, as did they. For the world to now see the product of HBCUs in the way that she exemplifies is amazing. But of course, so many greats came before her and will come after her. It's those women of the past and the girls of today whom Whitney Moore White is thinking of. One generation fought for it, this other generation sees it now. While the pandemic may alter the traditional inauguration plans for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, these women know where they'd like to be on that day. On the day that they announced that she was on the ticket, I bought a ticket to inauguration because I believed in her. My daughter uh, lives in Washington, D.C., and I uh, already told her, Mom may be coming.